Hi all, Fuzzy Bear Barian here again. Okay, in my most recent video about the strongest dual sword builds in the game, I mentioned that I'd been told Clan Toto could give you 2% minimum extra attack per heavy armor piece that you have equipped. And that as a result of this, Toto should be the best clan in the game for getting the most damage you can when using heavy armor sets. This is especially so the longer you're with the clan as that 2% goes up. But I also mentioned I tested the increase in attack with Clan Toto at length and found Honda clans still outperform Toto each and every time. And I had. But guess what? I've done even more tests? Well, kind of, and now I can say that's not actually true. For a bit of a background here, the person that told me about Clan Toto was Reddit user Pompchok, who also has a YouTube account under the same name. Go check out his channel. Anyway, after his tests and mine didn't seem to gel, I suggested Pompchok should post a video of the build he was using where he was definitely getting the extra attack from Toto to help me see what was happening. He did that, and when I watched his video, I saw he was doing absolutely nothing different to what I had been doing in my tests. But I also saw he was definitely getting the extra damage he said he was, which made no sense to me. I noticed a number of other testers on Reddit had similar results to me, that is, they had confirmed Clan Honda was doing more damage for them too, and that Toto wasn't as good. So basically some of us were getting better damage with Toto and some of us weren't. But Pompchok's video clearly showed there was something going on because he was clearly getting more damage. So even though I said I was going to stay with Honda in my last video, I decided to screw that and do more tests. And that's where it got weird. The moment I switched to Toto, I instantly started getting more damage with the gear I already had on. I compared my damage to previous tests I'd done and found that I was getting more damage than my previous tests despite having changed absolutely nothing. Don't ask me why this is the case, because I just don't know. I'm always hesitant to cry glitch or bug when it comes to games, but right now, that's maybe all I can think of. I mean, perhaps switching to a clan sometimes doesn't trigger the perk instantly, or maybe there can be a delay and you need a restart, or maybe I just did something else that screwed up my original tests, like inadvertently stacking certain damage types leading to diminishing returns or something, I don't know. I honestly can't pinpoint anything to be honest as nothing has changed that I'm aware of. All that has changed was I switched from one clan to another and back again. But the extra damage from the second switch became immediately and blatantly obvious so there it is. Whatever is going on with that is anyone's guess but either way I can definitely confirm I am now getting more damage with clan Toto than I was before with clan Honda. Uh, using builds made up of heavy armor pieces of course. So what does this mean regarding my previous dual sword video? Uh, not a lot actually. The most damaging builds will still stay ranked in the exact same order as I have presented in that video. However, it does mean if you choose one of the heavy armor set builds as your favorite, such as the Armor of the Exceptional build, or the Warrior of the East build, or even the Tatanashi Warrior of the West Master Swordsman build, then it would be a good idea to switch to Clan Toto to do even more damage than you'll be getting from Clan Honda. But, if the Kingo's combination is your favorite dual sword build, then stick with Clan Honda. If you switch to Toto whilst using Kingo's, that combination will definitely cost you damage. I should also say though that with Clan Toto, the difference in damage from behind between Kingo's and the Armour of the Exceptional build, if all you wear is the ar Armour of the Exceptional gear, is narrowed a fair bit thanks to Clan Toto. It's actually only about 2.5% difference, all factors being equal, which isn't much. So that might sway you. Uh, so yes, it's still slightly in Kingo's favor there. Uh, and though if you use Sign of the Cross a lot, then that 2.5% basically gets blown out of the water with Kingo's doing much, much more damage. So to cut a long story short, when Toto is on and working, it gives you more damage with your heavy armor sets, but even then Kingo's is the most damaging overall build to use if you take into account all angles of attack and are aligned with Clan Honda. And that's it. This is just a really quick video to add to the last one. So bye for now.